Hey guys, Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, and I just think I would uh, send you out a video here real quick. I know everybody's getting ready for the Super Bowl. It is Super Bowl Sunday 2021, and I got my Buccaneers hat on. Now, I'm not a real big football fan. I watch only one team, one team only. It's because I grew up in the Tampa Bay area, so the Buccaneers have always been my favorite, even though I don't really support the NFL today uh, and in its current form. I will be watching the game today, but my question to you is, is that, uh, look, it's Sunday. Uh, I generally come out to you with, with some prepared uh, uh, statements, but, you know, every year on 4th of July and on Super Bowl Sunday, these events where millions and millions and millions of people, uh, you know, stop what they're doing they order the chicken wings they have parties they invite people over and you know they celebrate watching these games millions probably hundreds of millions of people will watch the super bowl today uh you know really um and it's fun uh, and i would recommend you know i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna have fun doing it but here's the thing so many people i find get caught up in watching these millionaires that are already got all the fame and fortune that they possibly want they're playing for recognition today they're playing for that super bowl ring right and and and, and god bless them they deserve the the uh the ring they put the effort into it they spent their lives you know getting ready for it and and, and working on their game working on their craft uh, and we all sit around and watch and cheer, and, and when our team wins, uh, um, we're going to feel good about it. When the Buccaneers win today, we're going to feel good about that too, right? And that's fantastic. But here's my question. Millions upon millions of people, hundreds of millions of people, will, and I'm watching, and wearing my, that's my Jeep in the background. It's my Jeep sweatshirt I'm wearing. And I'm he's sitting there going, why did I wear this sweatshirt? Because it's actually about 65 degrees out in California, uh, Northern California today. I'm, I'm staying in the sun on the tarmac of the airport, getting ready to go fly airplanes. And that, that kind of led me to this, to this video. And that is, is that, you know, as I was saying, millions upon millions of people, maybe even hundreds of millions of people, are going to wake up tomorrow morning and go to the, work, the job, the work the place that they absolutely hate. Right today, they're going to be all fired up because they, you know, they're going to live live vicariously through somebody else's wins. And tomorrow, they're going to go back to the to the humdrum uh, lifestyle that they had before, which is working at a job that they absolutely cannot stand. They do it day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out, and nothing ever changes. Right? And there's an old saying: until the pain of the same changes, nothing will ever change. Until the pain of the same becomes greater than the pain of change. Right? Nothing is ever going to change in your life. Let me say that again because it's so important. Until the pain of being in the same place in your life becomes greater than what it's going to take, the pain of what it's going to take to change from being in that same place, wake up tomorrow morning and hating what you do, for example, nothing is ever going to change, right? Right? Nothing is ever going to change. You're going to go get up tomorrow and do it for 40, 45 years, retire on a Social Security or a pension that's decreasing. I mean, who knows the way the world's going right now if we even have pensions of Social Security available to us when we retire, right? you got to take care of what you do. you got to take care of yourself. And so, uh, you know, what are you playing for? What are we playing for, right? See, I, I look, I, there's a lot of people. This industry right now is a buzz with um, – um, you know, people that are that are running all over the place trying to build these massive agencies of people selling life insurance to hope someday to sell out this other company for millions upon millions of dollars to become wealthy. You know, and I've thought about this a lot because I've been doing this for 30 plus years. And, um, you know, money was never really my motivation. I mean, it was because the money buys you the lifestyle that we all want, right? And this industry is unlike any other industry that I know, right? We get paid, you know, they, they say that the average millionaire has seven different types of income. And sorry about that, the plane's taking off right now. Has seven different types of income, right? We have three right here in this one opportunity. We have high upfront commissions, we have residual income, and we have the opportunity to, be, to, be able, to build uh, passive income. So three out of the seven incomes you are, that, you, that, you, that most millionaires have, you have right here. See, I always, look, I look, I love doing what we do. You've heard me say this before. I love doing, you know, doing what we do. What we do matters, selling, selling life insurance, protecting families. And we get paid very, very well for it. The margins in this industry are incredible. You know, you can sell a $1,000 policy and get paid a 1000 bucks for doing it. That's insane, right? Instantly. You get paid before the insurance companies get paid, right? They take a premium, they take a premium of $85. They pay you 1000 Next day, deposit directly in your bank account. That's insane, right? 
So that's one reason why we do it. The other reason why we do it is the residual income that we can build. See, I got in this business to build a lifestyle, right? There's an old saying that once you get the money thing in your life out of the way, life really begins, right? So I chose insurance because of the residual income that allows me to build. So that when I want to go out and drive my Jeep and invest tons of money into my Jeep and go out and drive, I never, I only drive this Jeep on Sundays, that's it. Then I drive it to the airport, I drive it to the golf course, right? I go fly airplanes, I go play golf. These are the things that I love doing. And so I, I, I built my insurance business to be able to give me that lifestyle, that work-life balance. There's no work-life balance in setting your hair on fire and running all over the country, you know, hoping to sell out and become a multimillionaire in three to five years. I mean, yes, if that were to happen to us, we'd sit down, we'd listen to it, and we'd be blessed and grateful to be able to, be, to sit at that table. But the reality of it is, is that you and I can, you know, we live in today's world. What is, you know, learning how to play the game at a high level, right, insurance, right, going out and protecting families, right, building that, res every time we make a sale, we put money in that residual bucket, right? And then if you want to and you like people and you want to build an agency, you know, we have that option, which builds that passive income. You and I can live very, 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 very well. You know, earn our income in one or two days a week instead of five or six, like most people do at a job, who are never building anything. You understand that, right? When the state and federal government can shut your income down in any second, you don't own anything. See, we own our income here because I can get some leads, make some dials, book some appointments, go visit some families, go sell some insurance, and get, and get deposits in my bank account 24 to 40 hours later. Right? You only need three things. Support, training, and leads. Quality lead program that the IMO owns. Not a list of lead vendors. You got to do your own research because there are, there, there are a lot of head fakes out there. Right, high contracts and you know lead you know lead programs that they don't really own that they give you a list of vendors. There's there's, there's reasons to have a conversation before you sign. And I know we're at seven minutes right now, and most of you hang up at five. Right, that's what the analytics tell us. So hopefully you're going to hang on long enough to, to to hear me out on this. There are a few things, right? There's a certain way to work these leads. You need a coach and a mentor, right? That that isn't necessarily the IMO. They're not in the business of teaching you. They're they're in the business of giving you the, thing, the tools that you need in order to succeed. The person you sign up with is that's the person that needs to have a plug and play system, time tested and proven that you can plug into, right? But get back to my point. I do this business. I stayed in this business to be able to build an income so that within a few years I've got enough money coming in monthly. If I never sold another policy, right? That to me, I could go out and do the things that God, the talents that you know that God gave me to go do the things I enjoy doing. And I can fly airplanes. And I can, fly, you know, I can, I can drive around, and have fun, and cheap. And I can make my money in one or two days a week. And the other five, I can, I can, I can dedicate it to, to myself, to my charity, to my church, to my, to my team, agents, you know, whatever. I got five days to do whatever I want to with it. I got, I got to crank out for one or two days worth of, worth of, uh, 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 you know, my income and get that taken care of. And then, you know, life begins. Where else are you going to do that? In any other vehicle where you can work one or two days. You know, this virtual stuff we got going on right now, not telesales, that's different. Okay, telesales is a different game. Um, you know, you just use the phone. This is virtual sales that has exploded. You know, I was going to read you some numbers. I don't have them in front of me right now. But these guys are making five to 15000 bucks a week working from home. Where else are you going to find that kind of an opportunity anywhere else? Anywhere else. And, and have the feel-good opportunity doing it. Protecting families. What we do matters, Right? So that, to me, that be, to be able to do that, these guys, again, they're working four days a week, right? Monday through Thursday. They're putting up numbers five to $15,000 a week. Then they take off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those jobs were, you know, people would people stand, you know, you'll have people standing like a food line, standing in an opportunity line for those kind of jobs because that's an incredible lifestyle. Being able to work four days, take three off and make a multiple six-figure income doing it. And again, every time that you are making a sale, remember, you are building, you're making a deposit in that residual income bank of yours. That's the important thing. So, I mean, I don't want to make this video long because I know most of you guys don't hang on. YouTube tells me it's four to five minutes and we're at nine. But it's Super Bowl Sunday. We're going to sit around the TV and watch people celebrate, you know, the years of achievement in, in getting to, be, to play in the game at the top level possible to play for the Super Bowl ring today. And my question to you is, while you watch that game, is 
What are you going to wake up to tomorrow? What are you going to do for yourself? What are you doing for yourself today, right, to play in your Super Bowl? Or are you going to go back to working at a dead-end job that, you know, every two or three years you got to start a new one, never building anything, trading your, you know, your hours for a paycheck, right? You understand when you sell, your, you sell one hour of your time to another person, you became a slave to that person for that one hour. When, when is that cycle going to, going, to, going to end? When is the pain of being in that place going to be so, you know, overwhelming that you're willing to go through the pain of change to put yourself in a different place? I'm going to tell you right now, with the virtual sales, with the post-COVID stuff going on right now, this industry has exploded. But you've got to stop asking who's the best IMO. That's part of the consideration. But it really should come down to who can teach me. Who is leading from the front? Who has evidence of success in this industry that's willing to lock arms with me and teach me how to succeed in this business? It has a financial interest in telling me the truth. Okay? We can all get advice on the internet or YouTube. Right? But they have no fun. It doesn't matter what they tell you to do. They don't have any financial stake in your success. So I would be, I would be cautioned I would cost you about their advice, right? See, people on my team can trust my opinion. They know I'm never going to tell them to do something that I haven't done before that, has been, that I've been successful in doing. I would never tell them to do something that I'm testing. I would only tell them to do something that I know that works because I have a financial interest. We're partnerships. I've got a financial interest in their success. That is the kind of relationship you're looking for combined with the best IMO that gives you the lead program, not a list of leads, a lead program. It gives you the opportunity to have an ownership interest, right? Gives you a great comp plan that you can then increase to a higher the top contract rate based on nothing more than your production, not on who you bring to the table, not on your recruiting efforts. Those are the things. I can't get on that because again, we've gone 12 minutes, right? But I'm just looking at some modes here. You know, again, I, I'm not, I just, I'll, I'll close with this. Um, I'm just trying to get on your skin a little bit today. And I know that, you know, uh, maybe most of you have already hung up. But uh, those of you who haven't are the ones I want to work with, the ones I want to talk to. Let's have a conversation, right? Full, full disclosure, I'm, I'm always, I'm, I, we've been building our, our insurance agency for years. But I'm not here just for that reason. I, I, I talk to a lot of people during the course of the week that call me from YouTube. I don't hire them all. I talk to them about what's available, what we have, what, what's out, what they should be looking for, right? And if it's a fit, we'll talk about coming here, but it's not, it's not a requirement, right? And not everybody fits for what we're doing here, right? I mean, if you're all about money, then, then, then I'd, I'd probably take, t t tell you to go somewhere else. If you're about building a, learning how to do this business successfully and building a business that's, that gives you long-term success uh, and you're coachable, you're willing to work, and you have a huge desire to succeed at a high level in this business, then, I wanna, that, then I'd like to talk to you. I'll talk to all of you, but that's the kind of person I want to partner with. Because this industry is moving fast right now, and honestly... Um, you know, we want to work with people that are serious about it. That, you know, if you want to be spare time or part-time, that's fantastic. We've got a lot of room for you in this business, especially, uh, you know, doing virtual sales. You can do it from home. You can make six figures working, you know, two, three, four days a week if you're willing to be committed to the structure that we have in place that we know works, right? So uh, these guys, you know, including me, I'm not wealthy. I'm not a rich person uh, in terms of monetary possessions. I'm rich in lifestyle. Any given day, I can pick my keys up and go do what I want to do. Any given day. Which is working with my agents, right? Go protect some families, you know, on, on a couple days a week. Right? But if I, don't, if I wake up one day and say, you know, I, I, you know my, my family needs me. My granddaughter needs me. My daughter needs me. I can go do that. I'm not, I'm not beholden to any person, any job, any man, any woman. I own my life. I own my income. I don't rent it anymore. Right, I'm not wealthy in possessions, but I'm wealthy in lifestyle. Uh, I own my own income. I own my own lifestyle. 
And that's what I would challenge you today when you watch the Super Bowl game is when are you gonna play, when are you gonna get when are you gonna when are you gonna when are you gonna prepare yourself? When are you gonna be willing to invest, you know, one, two, three, four years in uh, the greatest vehicle on earth to provide work life balance? Hook up with somebody that will that's willing to lock arms with you, teach you, train you on what it takes to succeed in this business. Not BS, you know, things that actually work. Time-tested and proven principles, right? And a time-tested and proven system that they can plug you into that you can call every day, case by case, day by day, before, during, and after the sale. See, the IMO is not the business for that. That's the person you're signing up with. That's the, that, that has to be revived in the person that you're signing with, up with or their agency. That's what I'm trying to get across to you. If you want to do that and make that kind of investment, in, you know, in two or three years, you could have a residual income coming in. Look, retirement is just nothing but a number. If you can retire on $5,000 a month, you could do that in a year if you're just focused on and working with the right person. If it's 10000 because, again, it doesn't matter what the number is. 10000 20000 a month, whatever it is. For me, twenty five or 30000 30, a month was, was my number. At that point, I could do whatever I wanted to do. I could wake up every day and do exactly what I wanted to do and needed to do for my friends, family, and myself and, and, uh, and my team, right? And not worry about anything else. No one owned me. 16 minutes into the video. I got to go. So um, I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, not rich in, in, uh, in material possession, but certainly rich in life. And everybody can participate in this. We have got this thing dialed in face to face now that this COVID thing seems to be, you know, rapidly going away and the mask mandates are coming off and, you know, we're starting to go back to normal now. No big surprise there. Right. Um, but now that's that, that's happening. Uh, you know, face to face will be will be uh, become, uh, you know, a thing we can do again at a high level. But I'm telling you right now, there's power in being able to know how to do virtual sales from home make multiple six figures, not having to travel, get in the car, go anywhere, and taking that restriction off your business. Give me a call. I'm more than happy to talk to anybody. Appreciate all of you. Grateful that you're on this channel. Thank you for, for uh, being a subscriber. Hit that button below if you haven't subscribed yet. There's, you see there's value in this business. Be aware we're going to we're gonna start a podcast in a, in a couple of weeks. We've got some guests lined up for that. We'll post that on the, on the YouTube here. So you want to hit the bell so you get instant notifications. I'll put the link to the podcast. Come join us. It's worth it. This business and this industry is on fire right now for the ones that will show up right, and make a commitment to win, to play in the game and win. Have a great day. Well, that's it today, and so I'm going to go get in this Jeep, and I'm going to go out there and have fun because you know what? For the last 30 years I've been in this industry, I believed in that bucket of residual income. Every single time I went out and did something good to protect the family, I made a deposit in my residual income. Then I also invested my time, my experience into, into some other agents and I started building that passive income stream which allowed me to have the time to do the things that I truly enjoyed doing which is flying airplanes, right? And you can see some of the airplanes coming in here right there, right? They're going out of tarmac, okay? And to all, spend time with my family, spend time with my agents and to drive this Jeep. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.